second and last part of this tutorial. And today I will be showing you how to make hair, how to attach eyes to the body and how to embroider the face of our toy. Okay, first I'm going to attach uh, eyes to the body. So use pins with a large head and place them where you want. But remember, we have left and right eye. So the X has to be in the inner part of eye. I'm using sewing thread, double sewing thread and white color sewing thread and tapestry needle and first stitch goes into the stitch in the eye then make another stitch in the next stitch and another stitch goes under single crochet in the body and this you will repeat all the way around. So in the body you have to insert your needle under single crochet and in the eye you will use stitches. So this, this white stitches you will use all the way around and you can see i keep the starting tail longer because at the end i will make a simple knot from both ends so work slowly be patient and tighten it firmly So keep going and how I said, I always make a simple knot from both ends of sewing thread and then you can sew uh, the other eye to the body with the same way. Now I want to show you how I embroider the face. You can use chenille yarn or you can use some cotton yarn or acrylic yarn. I'm using black chenille yarn for now. But maybe it's better to use um, thinner yarn, so some cotton yarn. And I'm going to make big line around half of eye.
and then three lines, three shorter lines as eyelashes. And these three lines will hold the, this big line. So I'm going to show you what I mean. When you insert your needle in front of the big line, it will hold the big line and you can make eyelashes. You can uh, fix everything. So I don't like uh, where is the the end of the big line. So I'm going to I'm going to fix it. I want the big line uh, closer to to the eye.
And this is how my toy looks like. And it's up to you. If you want to have different eyes, it's up to you. Now I'm going to show you how I embroider the smile. So I'm using cotton yarn, thin cotton yarn and black color of the cotton yarn. And I'm going to show you two types of smile. So this is one and I'm going to show you the other one. And the other one is just big, big line. But I want to show you how to, um, how to keep the line in right shape. Okay, and now in the middle of the big line, uh, make a um, holding stitch and it's one small stitch over the big line. You have to insert your needle into the same space, but you have to insert your needle over the big line and it will hold the line on the place where you want, so it will not move. And when you finish it, you can lead both ends of yarn to each other and make a simple knot and then hide it inside. And now let's make hair of this toy because without them, without hair, it's not too nice. It's not interesting. So I'm going to use this yarn called Deco Fur Sim from Alize. You can use any other uh, yarn of this type. It's a decorative, decorative yarn and you can use smaller hook. I'm going to use four millimeters crochet hook. And 
So it's pretty easy. We are going to crochet and start in the first round of the body. So here is the magic ring and we will go this way and we will crochet just single crochets uh, under each single crochet in the body. So grab the yarn, pull it through. You can make chain one at the beginning and then we are going to make single crochet under each single crochet in the body. I'm hiding the starting tail behind my work. You can do it if you want or you can hide it at the end when you finish uh, finish making of hair. It's up to you. So I'm uh, making hair in spiral and it's up to you um, how many rounds you will crochet. So keep going alone, you can pause the video and then meet me back again. When you finish making of hair, just take a tapestry needle and sew the end inside the hair.
And for better effect, you have to brush the hair. So I'm using macrame brush and just brush the hair. It'll look nicer, a lot of nicer. Okay, this is how my toy looks like. We are at the end of the tutorial. I hope you like it. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And I will look forward at the next video. Bye-bye.